Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'm going to be reading is poem 959, and this is called, O Lucifer, That the Worst You Can Do. I think this is one of the most powerful pieces I've written so far. In this poem, I battle the devil, and he uses all my past weaknesses as weapons, and with every hit he makes, he takes, I become weaker and weaker. He also bargains with me to join him, but I refuse, and rather let him take my soul than join him. So the war continues. O oh, Lucifer, that the worst you can do. I am huddled in a dark room corner by a window, shaking. Clothes ripped, scratches on my body, my skin is pale. Eyes are still in shock while tears keep dripping, my lips trembling. I can't even speak, trying hard not to show my weakness, but I'm petrified. You're convinced at this moment, and so am I, that my soul has been defeated. The shadow of a creature with long, sharp horns stand in the middle of a doorway, just watching me. And even though it's dark, I can see those tormenting eyes, ones you would only see in nightmares. And you say this, this battle is done, you lose. I knew one day you would come for me. Perhaps it's because I lost my faith. I'm standing in front of my childhood house. It looks abandoned and in ruins. It starts to snow. There's a cross underneath, underneath my turtleneck, one my father gave me. I walk inside as the floors creak with every step I take. But other than that, there's silence. I hear high heels moving back and forth in the kitchen as I walk there, and I see Mother cooking. She keeps yelling at me, but I don't hear her, what she's saying, because I become deaf. All of a sudden, she slaps me, and my hearing comes back, and she says, You're nothing. Tears start strolling from my eyes as I move back, and she starts to laugh as the room darkens, and there are snakes, maggots, termites, and dead vines all around the walls of the house. Her eyes turn red as she becomes nothing but black smoke. All of a sudden, I feel a punch, and my body flies across the wall. I didn't even get time to realize what was going on. I opened my eyes and saw my ex standing right in front of me with that angry hand. Why don't you just do what I tell you to do? And then he slaps me again. With every hit, slap, punch, I felt as if my energy was being taken away, losing. And at the end, I heard the same laugh and those red eyes. I couldn't take any more of this pain, so I made my way to the front door about to leave. When the door was boarded up, I heard a laugh behind me. It sounded very familiar. And when I turned around, I saw that it was me. You are weak. You let your insecurities take the best of you. You care what they say, and your words are broken. I kept nodding my head. You are not real. I moved quickly from the front door to anywhere else in the house, and then I made it to my room. But while I was moving, the voice was still speaking very close to my ear. You have a choice. Come with me. You're going to love the heat down there. Besides, God doesn't want you. He judges you because you lie with man. I'll take you in and never judge you. I'm huddled in a dark room, cornered by a window, shaking. Clothes ripped, scratches on my body. My skin is pale. Eyes are still in shock while tears keep dripping. My lips trembling. I can't even speak, trying hard not to show my weakness, but I'm petrified. You're convinced at this moment, and so am I, that my soul has been defeated, and you are still watching me. Even though it's dark, I can see those tormenting eyes, ones you would only see in nightmares, and you say this. This battle is done. You lose. At that moment, when all was done, hopeless, I started to believe in something that I never had before. I managed to get up and rip the crucifix around my neck, getting closer to the evilness, the darkness, raising up the cross, laughing in the face of the devil. Is that the worst you can do?